digital romance TV. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Michael Fiore from Digital Romance Inc. Today we're talking about baseball. Wait, no, we're not. What are we talking about? Top three ways to spot a player. See, that's where I got confused because baseball player, whatever else. Oh, Nora, okay. what's a player? Uh, somebody who has sex without emotional connection of any sort, who goes from person to person. Who is maybe kind of like uh, literally marking off notches on their belt yeah. or bedpost. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for instance, we met somebody recently at a conference who was talking about how he had closed 150 girls in a year. Closed. Which I was like, did he I like, thought you were trying to open them. Did he like seal their, their genitals yeah. so that nothing else can get in there or whatever else? Um, a, couple, a, couple, a couple of ways would be, one, say you're in a social situation where there are multiple women there and this guy is there. If you see that same guy uh, hitting on every girl in the room, right. that's a pretty good indicator. Yeah. Because any time that a guy is just like doing broadcast kind of like, right. well, whoever happens to come to me would be great, right. that's a pretty good and shot. If, yeah, if you haven't figured it out, it doesn't matter who, yep. who it is. Um, it's you just may, a chick yeah. at that point. I would, recommend for, I would recommend pretty much every woman read a book called The Game by Neil Strauss. It's actually a good book. Uh, but it also gives you a lot of insight into, I mean, Neil's a very good writer, is what I mean to say. And it gives you a lot of good insight into the psychology of pickup artists, who are kind of the ultimate players at that point. There's a whole community of guys out there who see uh, getting laid as a video game, which is funny because there's video game wallpaper, which you can't see. Um, and they're basically just trying to get the highest score they can, get as many chicks as they can, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if a guy won't introduce you to his friends, if he refuses to see you more than once a week, if it's only ever in a sexual context, uh, if, he will, if he's evasive when you ask him if he's seeing anybody else, these are all good indicators. He's yeah. a player. Um, also, if he has like really peacocked hair and wears ridiculous shirts and um, <laughs> seems to know magic tricks, in my experience. Oh, God. No, a lot of pickup artists know mag magic tricks. It's a thing. It's a way to do it. Uh, personally, I know how to hypnotize people, which is even worse, but I'm not a player. I'm married. So there you go. Um, but anyway, the main thing is just like trust your gut a little bit, and it, the, the number one thing would just be, is he hitting on every girl in the room? Yeah. Subtly or non-subtly. If you're paying attention to a guy and he's just like hitting on a bunch of different girls, that's a pretty good indicator that he's read all these books about picking up women and, right. he's, and he's really just playing a numbers game. He's yeah. just kind of going along saying, I bet one of these girls will put part of me in her mouth if I try hard enough. Okay. I didn't say what part. I didn't say it. But also, dude, I really recommend, check out Neil, uh, Neil Strauss's book. It might make the hair on the back of your neck stand up a little bit, but you'll learn a lot about or the, a little. It might make you vomit a little bit yeah. as well. Um, there's some things he accomplishes in that book that I'm like, that's an accomplishment? I didn't quite know. Uh, and check it out. But if you want good advice, as opposed to that, what comes in that book, please go to digitalromanceinc.com and you can check out all these thousands of articles we have and the podcast and not just articles from us, but from other people as well. Also, do me and you and Nora a favor and comment or like down below and let us know your worst experience with a player or if you are a player, one of your funniest stories about being found out. Oh, all right. I want to read them. We'll read them for you in the future. The future. I'm going to judge you though, just so you know. <laughs> Bye-bye. If you want to understand men better than they understand themselves, go to digitalromance.tv forward slash secret to watch a special presentation where I explain the weird psychology of men and what men need to truly commit to a woman.